Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to show you a few accessories for my gimbals. I got two gimbals here with me that I'm, are kind of my go-to gimbals right now. The DJI Ronin SC and the Moza Air 2. Uh, and I've got some accessories. First one I'm going to show you is um, this dual handle. And this is something that the company uh, that I, I reviewed a bunch of their products already. It's a digital photo. Uh, and the reason is because, uh, well, here's one of my sort of favorite accessories that I got from them. And I kind of featured in uh, previous videos, which is just this handle allows you to, uh, especially in this kind of more heavier gimbals, um, like the Mosaire 2, would where you know usually you're going to put a bigger camera on it, uh, or for example the DJI Ronin S. Uh, that's where this is really handy because again you can grab it with both hands, so you kind of distribute the weight better. But also it's great for accessories, as you can see. Uh, it actually when you get this thing, you get this uh, this magic arm. And this magic arm is, is really good because it's sturdy, allows you to attach monitors, microphones, whatever it is that you want to attach. And it's basically just a good accessory to have. Uh, and like I said, it comes with this handle. The handle itself is very sturdy and it has a whole bunch of quarter 20 threads on it. So you can see up here I also attached a 15 millimeter, um, basically a rod holder. So I can attach 15 millimeter rods and then accessories to it. Um, so that's kind of what I like about it and digital photo they seem to be kind of producing a lot of these accessories for uh, cameras gimbals like you know basically camera accessories there was another thing that I featured in a, in a previous video of theirs which was this clamp that you put on the DJI Ronin um, uh, S and that allows you then to kind of uh, hang the, the, the gimbal kind of on your shoulder or on your neck or something uh, take the strain off your arms and then also just l help makes it actually easier kind of uh, walking with it getting steadier shots and that's one of these things that i now got from them uh, they released a new one but specifically for the uh, moza air 2. Um, before i show you that i just wanted to show you quickly this handle that they actually sent this one into me this one i didn't buy and they were just like hey you know try it out see if you like it and uh, I thought I would show it to you guys. I don't know if it's something I'm going to be using because personally, when I get these smaller gimbals, like up here I have it mounted on the DJI Ronin SC, uh, you know, this is a smaller, lighter gimbal that's easier to use with one hand. Here I also use their handle, which gives me effectively a dual handle. But what I like is that you're using still the handle, the main handle on your gimbal. And then here with this extra one, uh, because it's so close, you can actually still take off your, for example, your arm off the main handle and you can still be fairly balanced. It's not a big strain on your wrist or anything like that because it's fairly close to the center of gravity. So it allows me to kind of switch my hands. Like let's say if I want to change some settings on the camera or on the gimbal, I can do that. You know, I can free up my hand. Uh, let's say I want to adjust my monitor or something like that with my other hand, I can do that. Uh, the reason why I don't see myself using this kind of a dual handle is simply because it, it's very wide apart. So what that means is that if I now take off, say, <laughs> one arm, it's a strain here on the on the on, on my uh, wrist. So that's that's the problem with it. Like, yeah, if I take this off, even though again this isn't the the heaviest of gimbals, right? This is the DJI Ronin SC with the A6500 camera under. So that's one of the reasons why i don't see myself like i just don't like to have my hands that wide uh, that's also one of the reasons why i'm not a big fan of those big gimbals like the dji ronin uh, 2 for example uh or, or the you know the Movi pro and things like that with like bigger camera setups because i don't like to have my hands like this wide and sometimes you know kind of out in front of you like that it's very straining not comfortable basically to use so personally that's why i love these little gimbals that i can have my hands like this now you could i guess still use it like this it allows you to switch and you can have one arm on the main handle and you can use this so yeah i guess you could do that um yeah to me it just again i just don't see the purpose real purpose of having these handles so far apart now you can bring them closer you can actually remove this it comes with like little extensions and so then you can have this handle here closer and if that's the case, maybe I would like it more. So let me try it. And I'll move this one. So yeah, this feels now a lot better because the, the handles are closer. So this I do prefer. Um, and then yeah, it's not as much of a strain now 
yeah, when I take my, take my arm off, for example, of one of the handles. So that's better. And then I guess this way it allows you to attach more things up here, right? Because, uh, because like I said, because you can uh, onto here, onto these rods. Or it actually, this uh, dual handle comes with these things. The two of these, actually, they give you uh, in the box. So these are like these little magic arms that are... Uh, it came with some of the other accessories that they, they uh, sell and I've used it. They're pretty good. Not as good as this one, which is again from their, their company, but uh, uh, but it's still sturdy enough. And you can put it here on top of this handle or on top of that one. Uh, so if it, this is something that you were looking for, then uh, Digital Photos makes these and they make them and they sell them for really cheap, but they're quality products, like they're solidly built. And this, by the way, will work with all sorts of gimbals. Uh, to put it on, it's also very it's easy, you just have this uh, handle here. Once you loosen it all the way, you see this thing just comes out and it, you know, you can basically just put it on and off your gimbal. So if you want to remove it, you can remove it fairly quickly. Uh, and then again, you just put this knob there if you want to put it on some other gimbal. Um, it, one thing I'll tell you is, yeah, this thing is nicely padded, like rubber, so it will not damage your gimbal handle, which I, I like. And so far, I've tried it on the DJI Ronin SC, on the DJI Ronin S, and on the Moza Air 2, and it works with it. I would suspect it also works uh, on the, for like example, Zion Crane, uh, for example, Zion Crane 2. Or, yeah, I guess I am crane to the we, we will build lab three might be a bit too big for this, but I think that this, this, uh, the crane two I think has a similar diameter basically handle. So, if that's the case, then this will also work under. So, that this is you know a very affordable uh, little dual handle accessory for uh, gimbals if that's what you're looking for. Uh, let me show you the next accessory though that I'm kind of excited to try out, and it's this thing uh, again, also from digital photo and. This is pretty much identical to what they released and that I reviewed previously, which is, uh, again, this clamp that goes here uh, on the top portion of your gimbal, and it allows you to kind of, you know, hang this off your shoulder and things like that. The, the only problem is that the one that I reviewed did not work with the Moza Air 2, and the reason is because the Moza Air 2 just has this very weird kind of shape here, right next to the motor, and it just didn't fit. The, the one I reviewed before was for the DJI Ronin S and SC. Uh, so anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna install this with you guys, see how it works. So this is the box, by the way. This is what you get. Uh, simple packaging. You get uh, what is this? Warranty card. Uh, they give you grip tape. What is this? Oh, okay. It's like a tennis racket. Yeah, it is actually. It shows you for tennis rackets, which I guess it uh, might be good to put on that handle that they give you, maybe so it's not slippery. Actually, yeah, yeah, I think that's that's what this is for because I remember when I reviewed their their, their handle that they had uh, and, and this clamp for the DJI Ron S, uh, the complaint that um, uh, my friend uh, Ketak had is he was saying he liked the handle, but he just said like it was a little bit smooth. So sometimes it felt like it was going to slide it uh, from your hand. So now they give you the grip tape, which is really good. All right, uh, they give you the strap again. This is the strap that you can attach to this clamp. So for now, I'll put it aside. They give you a little Allen key and a cold shoe mount. So that's kind of cool. You can attach, I guess, your microphones and things. Another Allen key, another... Oh, this is a little buckle for the, for the strap. And they give you, see, two of these magic arms that they always provide, so... Uh, the, the ones that I showed you guys on that dual handle, so there you also get two of these, so it's kind of cool that it's included. And here's the main piece, which is the, the actual clamp, so I'm going to clamp it here around the Moza Air 2. I'm kind of excited if this fits, and it looks like it does because they, see, they really tapered it and kind of made it basically uh, nice and thin and kind of tapers, gets thinner, just like the shape of the, the Moza Air 2. All right, so there it is, and again, it, uh, they put little like rubber hair finish on the inside, and it should just fit like this. Let's hope it fits, because uh, I've tried a few other solutions before, and they were not not all of them. Let's just say fit all that well. Okay, we did it. Uh, now I got actually attached the handle here in the back, so. 
It's going to go somewhere like this. Alright, it's on there. And there it is. So now as you can see I can do this. So for example if you're doing the suitcase kind of a, you know, or low mode uh, where you're holding the, the gimbal low to the ground then it just makes it a lot more comfortable uh, having it like this. Uh, because it's more centered basically in the center of gravity. Like when you're holding it like this and all the weight of the camera is going on your wrist. It's not very fun. So with this thing it works nicely. There's a lot of cl clearance I see here between the uh, the roll motor and the hair which I like and let's do try this tape out I do like that this tape has this sort of a, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it gives you this kind of a ridge, so it has this little like soft, kind of a spongy thing here running through the center of it. So if you space it out correctly, it gives you like just enough, kind of creates these grooves for your fingers basically. All right, I did it. And yeah, definitely now that, I mean, first of all, it feels nice because it's like this really soft uh, kind of a grip now. So I do like that. But also these ridges here just really make it, uh, yeah, just, <laughs> there's no way this is slipping now. So it's kind of cool to see when companies listen to uh, to my complaints. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, like I said, I complain about uh, that. Well, that was the only thing I said that maybe would have been good if they, if they added in their um in the in their clamp for the dj run and s um so anyways culture you mount like i said you can mount it in some of the other places here whatever you want to mount it right now i will not mount that but i will mount this little guy and that's because this is for attaching the that that strap so i guess i could attach it in various places i'll attach it here for now And now we're going to take the strap here. I like this, that was just the way it clips, it just makes it easier. And now as you can see, you can wear it like this. And uh, I usually actually put it kind of around here. So whenever I'm not using the gimbal, I can just kind of have it here hanging off to the side. Uh, or I can actually, sometimes I'll take the, here the handle and kind of just lean it here off my stomach and then the top portion is leaning here and you're gonna just adjust obviously the length of this so you can have it closer to you longer uh, but now it's nice i can operate like this for a long long time i uh, will not get tired and now finally my favorite gimbal has this nice uh, clamp support and also this handle which is like i said good for this kind of low mode shooting um so yeah very cool i'm happy about this little accessory that i got 70 bucks i believe it is uh Anyways, I'll provide the link so you guys can check it out. There's different places you can buy it, but yeah, it's some, some, something around 70 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, pretty pretty cool gimbal. If there's any updates about it that I, like I said, if something goes wrong with it, although, I mean, it's, it's such a simple thing. It's literally just, you know, it's, like I said, it's a piece of metal and it's a well-machined piece of metal. It's it's light, but it's it's sturdy. Uh, and it pretty much looks like the one that I've been using on the DJI Ron S. The only difference now is, like I said, they, they made it so it fits around the uh, Moza Air 2 motor. And they have uh, give you this little grip tape for the handle, which is nice. That's just that it's inclu included. Um, but anyways, that's my latest little upgrade that I did to my Moza Air 2 gimbal. Uh, and uh, if you guys are interested, again, whether it's the dual handle, this thing, as always, uh, you can find out more info on my website at tomatosfilms.com. Uh, also about some of the other accessories that I've had and, and some of my other upgrades I've been doing with this. Uh, by the way, uh, people have been asking me, can I put uh, a Packet 6K camera 
on the uh, you know on the Mozart 2 uh, or some of the other gimbals that, that I've been reviewing and Mozart 2 for sure uh, right now it's the packet 4k I have up here because I'm shooting actually here one of the angles with the packet 6k but it works Mozart 2 takes you know basically carries that weight no problem uh, DJ Ronin S uh, will also take it you uh, sometimes it's, it's a bit more finicky trying to fit it in there but if you get on the kind of an offset plate like the one I got up here then it's again no problem but when it comes to the DJ Ronin uh, SC this gimbal uh, you can technically fit it again with the offset plate but I just wouldn't recommend it because it's uh, pretty much you you have to put like the tiniest lightest little lens on there because just this gimbal cannot handle that, that much weight uh, smoothly basically um, so that's why I would not recommend getting this gimbal for the for the pocket 4k or the pocket 6k cameras um, but yeah Mozart 2 will definitely work anyways I'm blabbing now so just go check out my website tomatosfilms.com and uh, otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video bye